Okay, my name is um, Kingsley Ofosu Ntiamwa, and I'm the acting executive director of Ghana Museums and Monuments Board. Um, we are the custodians of Ghana's cultural heritage, and uh, we are the custodians of all forts and castles in Ghana, including the Christianborg Castle. The Christianborg Castle was built in 1661 by the Danes. But the land was bought from the Gans, a Gans chief called Neo Kainkwe. Uh, they sold the land to the Danes at 3,200 gold florins. And in 1693, a Ghanaian called Asumeni, who was uh, from Akwamufie, defeated the Danes and became the governor of the Osu Castle in 1693. In 1694, he sold the, the castle back to the Danes. Now, when he sold the castle, he took the original keys of the castle away to a comfy. So as we speak today, the original keys to the castle is now at a comfy in the eastern region. This is the area where the trade, the slavery trade was going on here. This is the area. And so this is where they will bring the people, they will line them here, they will inspect them before the trade uh, takes place. This is Karagma water system and it was constructed in 1763. This is the steps to the main castle and the middle one was officially used for the president and the governors. And so as a, as, a, as a way of respect, we usually don't use here, we use the Franks. President Rawlins, all former president who have stayed here, lived here, this is where they used to go upstairs to their, office, their homes. And you can see, this is the picture behind the 50 CD note, the steps. So this is where the governors used to stand and supervise. As I told you earlier on, this is where the space over there was where the slavery, the trade was, would be going on. So they will come and stand here and supervise whatever business that is going on down there. Here we are, this is the credential hall. And this is where the former presidents were receiving envoys. Ambassadors, high commissioners from other countries when they present their letter. This is where the former president were receiving them. And this is where in 2017, when the president declared here, Osu Castle as a presidential museum and leadership center. This is where we held our first photo exhibition. And so this is the second exhibition we are having here. Um, we are having a photo exhibition of past presidents. We have the last three British governors. Last three British governors. We have Sir Alan Maxwell Barnes. We have Charles Noble Edin Clerk, and we have William Francis Hill. So these are the last three governors, uh, British governors in Ghana. So from here, we have past and present heads of state of Ghana. Let me emphasize and say that President J.E.A. E. Mills was the last president to use this hall as a president, as a head of state of Ghana. And this is where the envoys used to sign when they bring their letters to the heads of state. Yes. So, you can, when you stand here, you have a very nice overview of the sea. As you can see, this is where the distinction of the old and the new castle comes in. This was built by Dr. Nkrumah when he, when he became the president and he was using here as a seat of government. This was built by Dr. Nkrumah. And so where we are presently is the old castle and this is the new castle that was built by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Yes, these are 
some of the old canons of the Danish. This is where Nkrumah signed independence. This room, the same chairs, the same space, everything here. By last year, Sarkodie and Becca saw some videos, Nana's videos, and this is where, this is the hall, the video was shot. Remember, we used to say Professor Mills were having churches. He used to have church here on Sundays. So this was where he was having the church. This is the room that they were having those church services. This is the room and the bed, the wardrobe Queen Elizabeth used in 1962 when she came to Ghana and in 72 when the sun also came in the same bed the same room the prince also slept and so he was happy when he was here last year and I took him I brought him to this very room when he saw the bed he was like wow I remember this bed I remember this wardrobe I remember this room The dungeons are here. So from here, right from the dungeons, then they descend to the door of no return. So this is the door of no return. This is the Osuka Castle Gardens where events are held here. Past presidents have had so many events here as well. Currently, the place is an event center. You can come and rent for your parties, for your wedding refreshment and everything. People also come to pay to shoot um, music videos here. I remember last year, Stephanie Benson came, wrote to us that he wanted to shoot a music video here. So, um, GTA, they've held program here, Eat Ghana, Wear Ghana. They wrote to us, we gave them the permission. I remember last sometime last year or so, uh, Mr. Iva Jumadia, he also launched his book here. Professor Wellington also launched his book here. Just this Friday, we had over 2,000 school children here at the castle. And so anybody who wants to come and visit, who wants to visit the Christian Borg castle, the person is welcome from the hours of 8.30 a.m. in the morning to 5 p.m. We are here.